This is Artemis Launch Control at T minus four hours and 45 minutes and counting. The rocket was primed, the countdown underway. But as fueling of the giant rockets began, it became clear that in that famous phrase, we have a problem. The launch team has a recommendation of no go for launch to uh, the NASA test director and launch director. A leak on the link pumping liquid hydrogen into the tanks was found. Engineers ran through the plans to fix it. Launch director Charlie Blackwell Thompson just called uh, a scrub. But in the end, had to admit defeat. The launch scrubbed for Saturday. We do not launch until we think it's right. And these uh, teams have uh, labored over that, and that is the conclusion that they came to. So I look at this as a part of our space program, of which safety is the top of the list. It's the second time in a week the much-delayed Artemis project had to be stopped short of launch. On Monday, it was an issue traced back to a faulty gauge. Launch period 25 is definitely off the table. We won't be launching, uh, you know, this period ends on Tuesday. We will not be launching uh, in this launch period. Um, launch period 26 and 27 will really depend on the options that the team comes back with likely on Monday uh, or early Tuesday morning. Thousands had gathered in the parks and on beaches across Florida's space coast hoping to see a lunar launch, only to leave disappointed. We brought friends with us, and it's our anniversary and our friend's son's birthday, hoping the big candle would go off, but it didn't. Unless you've ever seen a rocket go up, there's nothing like it. It's heart pounding, I mean, it shakes your whole body, and it's, it's just something to see. Artemis has been plagued with delays, with overruns, and with a soaring budget, but NASA believes that even a short delay is worth it for a mission that will stretch over years and stretch the frontiers of space. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Cape Canaveral, Florida.